Welcome to Storytime with Skeeter. Today's story is called A Dang Shame, and it really is a dang shame. I'm going to tell you a little bit about me before I start. Now, I'm a guy, as you can tell, and I like to laugh, I like to joke, I like to be happy. What I don't like is nonsense. So with that being said, let me start my story. Today was very unusual. I took my time getting up for the first time in forever. I didn't rush, went going full speed, didn't fall, didn't trip, didn't bang my knee on the bed. Nothing went wrong. It was a good morning. I, I got up around maybe 8.30. No, it was about 4.30 in the morning. Let me stop playing. I got dressed. I was like, I want to give me something to eat. I went and got something to eat. Came back home. I ate and I laughed. Enjoyed a little bit of television. A little bit of YouTube, to be honest. I was like, man. I need to go to Walmart. Don't know what I had to go to Walmart for, but I went to Walmart. And as soon as I got to Walmart, it was not the best trip ever. I show up, this is probably around 7. I see a couple friends, and I laugh and I joke with them. And I ask them what they're doing, they were getting off work. I forgot they worked the overnight shift, so. And I was like, hey D, let's go check out something real quick. So me and my homeboy walk inside, laughing and joking. And I made, I looked around and I saw somebody I've never seen in that store before. Like, okay, cool. So I'm walking. And dude's like, hey, hey, excuse me, man. Hey, can I have your attention real quick? Like, Are you talking to you, D? D like, nah, man, he talking to you. I was like, nah, what's up, man? He's like, hey, man, you look real good in them pants, man. I look at D, D over there laughing, like cracking up laughing. And. I was like, alright, thank you, I guess. He was like, hey man, you got you got a boyfriend? I'm like, man, nah, bro, I ain't even like that. Don't even worry about it. And dude, like, he got offended. So, I was like, hey man, I don't even swing on that route, man. So you can go ahead and go on about your separate way. He was like, nah, man, I just thought you was thought you was like uh one of us. I was like, one of us? What is what is us? Hey man, I thought, I thought you uh thought you played for a different team. I ain't know y'all had teams. Is this like a gay football league or something that I'm missing? He was like, nah, man. I was like, man, listen. Dude, I'm straight. Honestly, you far from my type. He's like, so what's your type? I said, well, can you lift weights? He's like, yeah. I said, you pretty strong. He was like, yeah. I was like, did you play football? Yeah. You got a penis? Yeah. You flat chested? He's like, what you mean? I was like, you got breasts? He's like, nope. Then you're not my type, dog. I'm sorry. I like big thighed women. That's just me. <laughs> and you know, he walks off. And I start talking to D again. Dude was like, hey man, I just thought about what you said. So if I had all that with I said, nope. Nope. Mm -mm. Not interested, dog. Just go on about your way, man. Just, just go. And dude walks off. And I'm looking at D. D laugh. D laughing his little, little ass heart out. And I'm sitting there just like for real dog, you gonna laugh at me after all this bull right here. And so, you know, getting ready to check out. I got me some soap, got me some lotion, got me some new trimmers for my face. You know, I can't go around with no scruffy face. Lo and behold, he's back at it again. Hey man, so can we can we be friends? I'm like man, what the hell you mean can we be friends? He's like, hey, I just wanna be I just wanna be cool with you. You know, hang out and shit. I said, nah. Nah, bruh. We can't even hang out. I was like, you don't like gay people. I'm like, man, I ain't got a problem with gay people. What I got a problem with is people who try to holler at me and then slow key just try to get at me again. I'm like, man, the only thing you can do for me right now, dog, is go your own way. He's like, nah, man, you and them gay. You just hate gay people. I said, nah, I don't hate gay people. I'm just, I'm not gay. Like, I, have a, I have a few gay friends. That doesn't mean anything to me. That's their lifestyle. If they want to spend their time sucking dick, then let them suck some dick. That's not my problem. If she want to eat pussy, let her eat pussy. But what you're not going to do is sit here and act like you want to be cool when you really don't. I, I got nothing for you, man. Go on about your business. Dude leaves. Get my stuff together. Walking outside. Dude was like, hey, man, I don't appreciate how you talking to me. Look, man, I don't appreciate you still coming at me, man. The best thing you can do right now is go your own way. Whatever way you going, that's not the way I'm on, man. Now, it was nice talking to you. I appreciate the compliments, but go. 
So if Deke is in his car, and the other dude walks off. I get in my car, and Deke calls me. He's like, hey, Adrian. Adrian. Hey, let me get your number. <laughs> I didn't know what to do with it. So I just hung up with my homeboy. And I make it home. And, you know, my friends are all jokesters. He pulls up shortly there behind me. He's like, hey, hey. You look good in them pants, man. <laughs> I couldn't do nothing but laugh. Because, honestly, that's some bull, man. That is some bull. It is truly a dang shame. You can't even enjoy yourself without somebody trying to, you know, get at you. I don't understand how people can be that way, but something you gotta do, you gotta respect people's space, their time, and what they say. If you can't do none of that, ain't no point in you being around. Now, that's my little story for today. In the comments, or whatever, you can write me on Facebook. If you got something to say about it, let me know. Otherwise than that, enjoy your day, have a blessed one, and enjoy the rest of the video.